Do travel trailers actually come with solar fully installed? Yeah. This travel trailer is the Keystone Springdale model number 1860 SS. It sleeps four people, has an unloaded vehicle weight of 4,221 pounds, a gross vehicle weight rating of 5,000 pounds, for a cargo carry capacity of 779 pounds, and it measures in at 22 feet, 10 inches long. When you first walk in this RV, you'll notice off to the right-hand side is the bedroom area, and that wraps around into the living area, dinette area, and the kitchen is right across. Now back here towards the back of this trailer is where the bathroom and some additional storage is located. So in the front of this travel trailer is where the bed is located, and you know, this bed's located sideways, which means if the person sleeping up here wants to get out of bed at night, they've gotta climb over the other person, but the reason a lot of companies do it this way is because it does save space in the RV and you don't have to make and unmake the bed. I mean, it's always here. So it has its advantages and it also has its disadvantages. Now this is a 74 inch, I believe it's 60 inches wide. Yep, short queen bed. So an RV queen or a short queen is what that would be called. You'll notice overhead you have an open shelf for plenty of storage. And then behind that, You've got a window on one side with a couple of receptacles. On this side over here, you have a nice wardrobe cabinet with a bar up top so you can hang things. And then down below that, you have a little nightstand that's carpeted. And then behind here are two more receptacles and two USB ports. So if you need a CPAP machine or you wanna charge your electronics, plug in your tablet while you're reading it, whatever you're doing, you've got everything that you need here. There's also another small window right here so you can get a nice cross breeze in your sleep one other thing to note is the tv location is right here and so you've got all your cable and satellite and receptacles all lined up for you so you can easily pop a tv here this is actually a decent location because you can see it from your bed from the couch or even from the dinette Right next to the bed area is the living area, and you'll notice that the living area and the dinette booth are all in one big slide out. So this whole area slides out, and that's the reason why it feels so big and spacious in here. Now, this sofa is very nice and comfy. It's got thick cushions, just feels really nice and, uh, and cushiony in here, I should say, for a lack of a better word. Now, this sofa does also jackknife out, so you can change it into a bed. And I would say a child would be able to sleep here pretty comfortably. One nice feature that they did is sort of the sofa table behind the sofa. It's got some open storage. Even down below, there's plenty of room for storage down there. And then it's got a shelf up top with a nice window over top of that. Now there's also, one thing that Keystone did in this model is they've got all their storage underneath with these drawers. A lot of times you'll see over top of a slide out, uh, there'll be cabinets above, but they put all of their storage down below to save space and give you as much headroom as possible. Now the dinette in here is a very comfortable dinette. It actually can seat four people very comfortably. It's got a nice big window so you can look outside while you're enjoying a meal. And then one other thing to note is that you can drop the table and this will become another bed. So you could sleep four people in here. Now, I don't think an adult would be able to fit in this dinette. Um, so I would say, you know, kid on the couch, kid in the dinette, mom and dad in bed, perfect camper for a family of four. Also, you'll note that I'm not gonna pull them up, but you can pull up the cushions, pull up the plywood underneath, and there's storage underneath both of the dinette booths. In addition, there's two more drawers located here under the dinette for even more storage. So here we are at the kitchen area across from the couch and the dinette. And this is an inline kitchen, so everything's right in line. You know, you pull something out of the fridge, boom, it goes right on the cooktop or in the sink or whatever you need to do with it. Now, one thing I want to point out with Keystone RV, some of their trailers have this new color scheme that I just think looks fantastic in here. You know, they've done all their cabinetry in a matte black finish, uh, and it just looks really sharp. And you get this nice contrast between the black cabinetry and the lighter colored walls that are in here. And the wood trim in here is a natural wood color. And so between those three colors, I think it really gives a terrific color palette inside of these trailers. Now, you'll notice on the left-hand side here that you do have a single bowl sink 
I wish it was a little deeper. It would be tough to wash dishes in here, but you know, it'll get the job done. There's not much countertop space except for behind the burners. And so they do have a two burner stove, but if they had turned it sideways, so they're located front to back, that would give you a little more countertop space in here, uh, which would be a really good thing because there's really no countertop space. Up above, it does come with a microwave oven. I like how they did it in red. It just kind of pops and give you, just gives you a little different flavor in here. And then of course, you have a nice big three-way refrigerator and separate freezer. Down below your cooktop, you have a couple of drawers here that for all of your kitchen utensils. And then there's even more storage and a lot of it underneath the kitchen sink. Now at the back of this trailer behind the dinette and before we go into the bathroom, you've got this really nice big storage area. On the left hand side, I would consider this more of a pantry style cabinet. And it's pretty large, comes with some built in shelving in there. I wish they were adjustable, but either way it's cool. You can use some plastic bins to store things and that way things don't go flying everywhere, but it's a great setup. And then next to that, they actually put in a big wardrobe cabinet back here as well. And it comes with a bar up top so you can hang all your garments. It does come back all the way to the side wall. So there's a little more storage back in there. Or you can just use it as a big open storage. You don't have to hang things. Down below that, another big storage cabinet with a fixed shelf. So plenty of storage there. And then below that, there's a little area under here where you can kick your shoes and stow them away under the cabinets. Now, while we're down here, I did want to point out something very, very quickly. One question we get asked every now and then in our Facebook group, and we also get comments on YouTube videos or emails from the website is, are the fuses that you use in an RV the same ones that you would use in your car? And the answer is absolutely yes. I recommend you go visit you know, AutoZone or any auto parts store buy a multi-pack of fuses, and that way you've got them on board. If anything blows, just replace the fuse with the same exact uh, number that's on it. It's either gonna be 10, 15, 20, or 30, and uh, that way you're covered. If you're out on the road and you have to replace a fuse, just keep some on board and you're good to go. So here I am in the shower, which I always end up in the bathroom, and as you guys know, I am 5'11", and if I just stand in here normally, my head is just hitting the ceiling. So you have five feet 11 inside the shower. If you're taller, you're gonna to have to crouch down a little bit. Now, this shower has a little soap dish in here, but there's really no place for shampoo bottles or anything. I guess you could keep them out here on the countertop and reach out and grab them as you need it. Uh, you've also got a removable sprayer for your shower head, which is nice. And then it's got a shower curtain, the dreaded shower curtain. Um, you know, I can't stand shower curtains because our class C has one and every time I take a shower it sticks to me so maybe that's just my thing but you can buy a retractable shower door uh, and install it in here on your own it's very easy to do they come in custom sizes you can get them very quickly uh, we got ours from rec pro check it out if you're interested in that rest of the bathroom has the same black matte finish in here that they carry in from the rest of the camper and then it's got a nice sized medicine cabinet here down below, you have a really good size vanity sink, lots of countertop space, and then some open storage down below. So unfortunately, with the door closed, we're not gonna pass the elbow test in this bathroom, but there is enough space straight ahead because the shower's straight ahead that you really won't feel like you're cramped when you're in here. At the very front of the camper, underneath the owner's bed, there's a nice big pass-through area for all your exterior storage. One other thing to point out on these Keystone travel trailers and all the Keystone products for that matter is they all come standard with a complete solar package, including the solar panel on the roof. So it works from day one. They've teamed up with Battleborn Batteries, which has a, I guess, sister company called Dragonfly Energy. And they provide all the lithium batteries that are used for all of the RV uh, or all of the Keystone products. So you get a fantastic solar package called Solar Flex. You can expand the package. So if you really want to go off-roading, you can make the package so it fits your exact needs and provides all the power that you want. Now we featured Solar Flex with Keystone 
in our, I think it was the November issue of RV Camping Magazine. We'll put a link in the notes down below if you want to go on over and subscribe to the magazine, which is totally free, including all the past issues are also totally free. So check it out and you can read all about the whole new Solar Flex program. This travel trailer is the Winnebago Micro Mini Flex, model number 2100BH, sleeps five people, has an unloaded vehicle weight of just 3,860 pounds, a gross vehicle weight rating of 5,500 pounds, and a cargo carry capacity of 1,640 pounds, and it measures in at 21 feet, 11 inches long. When you first walk into this RV, you'll notice that on the right-hand side is where the bed is located, and then directly next to that is your dinette area, and then across from the dinette, you've got your kitchen and refrigerator, Behind me here, you'll have the bunk beds, and then the bathroom is all the way in the back of this trailer. So the owner's bed is towards the front of the camper, and you'll notice that it does go side to side. Now this is 54 inches wide, and it's 76 inches long, which makes it a short, full-size bed. Now the issue that we have with a bed like this is, if both of you are sleeping here, the person that's closest to the to the front wall of the trailer, if they have to get up in the middle of the night and use the bathroom, they have to crawl over the other person. So if you're considering a trailer like that, like this, just keep that in mind when you're looking around. You'll also notice that it's got a window on each side, so you get a nice cross ventilation in here. It does have a receptacle and USB jacks, as well as this little cargo net, so you could pop your phone in there and keep it out of the way while it's charging overnight. And then up top here, there is additional storage, which is nice and deep in here. So it's a great spot to throw all your clothes and all that good stuff. One other really nice feature is the amount of storage that's underneath of the bed. You've got this door here, which is a small access to it, but you can also get to uh, both sides of this storage under the bed from outside the camper as you have pass-through storage from the outside. The dinette in here is located in a slide out, so it really helps to create a lot of room inside of this camper, so I really like that aspect of it. And the nice thing about this dinette too is that you can actually seat four people here. We see so many dinettes where it's like, it's meant for four, but there's really no way four people could sit at the table. That's not the case with this one. It's a nice layout. The table also drops down and so this can be another bed for one more person to sleep. And then of course you have a nice big window over top of the dinette so you can see outside while you're enjoying your meal. Also, they do a nice job and take advantage of the storage underneath of the dinette booths. You have a door on each side with plenty of storage located right underneath the seats. So directly across from the dinette, here we are at the kitchen, and this is what we call an inline kitchen. Everything in the kitchen is in one line, I love this style of kitchen because it's easy to get to everything. If you need something out of the fridge, you grab it, you can put it right on top of your pseudo countertop, and uh, it's just very, very convenient, uh, and I like the setup a lot. Now, starting up top here, you've got some control panels and some entertainment value built in as well. And then you have storage cabinets up here. Now, with this style of cabinet, I would recommend, this is what we do, we use clear plastic bins that we store all of our stuff in so it doesn't go flying everywhere. So we might have like bread and chips in one and then we might have cans of beans and other stuff in another container so the, the heavy hard stuff doesn't squish our bread. But anyway, that's how you could use that spot. It does come with a convection microwave oven which is great. You can bake, you can microwave, do all that good stuff. Then it comes with a three burner stove. Very nice, very nicely done. And then down below here, you have lots of storage, pots and pans, and then you have your circuit breakers down below. Over here, you have a drawer that pops out. You can put your sponge and things in there, and then all of your kitchen utilities can fit very nicely in these plywood drawers that are fully extendable, which is a very nice setup. These are very quality uh, drawers in here. And then there's a little more storage space underneath the kitchen sink. Speaking of kitchen sink, this camper has a really nice, big, rectangular, deep, single bowl sink in here. This is fantastic for being able to do the dishes. It has a nice gooseneck faucet with a separate sprayer. And then of course you have your window located right above the kitchen sink. There's a little bit of countertop space off to the side here with a small TV that you could see either from the dinette or from the bed. So 
it's in a good location. I wish it could be a little bigger, but honestly, how often do you watch TV when you're camping anyway? You know, get outside and have some fun. I believe that this is a charger. You can put your phone right on there. It's not a tower of power. And then if you need more countertop space, they have an extendable countertop right here. So the refrigerator in here is huge for a trailer this size, but it's meant for a family of five to be able to stay in here. So I guess you're gonna need a lot of food items for your camping getaways. I've got a really nice size freezer up top. The refrigerator down below is also a very, very good size. So behind the dinette and sort of across from the refrigerator, here we are at where the bunk beds are located. The top bunk has its own window, it's got a light, and it's got a couple of USB ports mounted up on the ceiling. So one kid could stay up here very, very comfortably. And then down below, the lower bunk has the light and the USB ports on the far end. So I guess your head would be down there and your feet would be up here when you're sleeping. It's a little backwards in my opinion, but hey, you know, it still fits and it still works pretty well if one of your kids is down here. One nice feature about this bunk also is that the bunk can flip up towards me and you'll notice that there's a door here. So if you have taller storage items, you can flip up the bunk, get everything in here from the exterior door and store things while you're traveling down the road. When the bunk's in place, there's also additional storage that you can use below the bunk as well. So here I am in the very back of this trailer, which is where the bathroom is located. And I'm half in and half out of the shower. There's about a 12 inch step up to get into the shower back here. And you'll also notice as we zoom in a little bit, there is no sink in this bathroom. It's just a shower and a commode. But for a trailer this size, it's perfectly fine. You can wash your hands in the kitchen sink. Now standing inside the shower, there's really not a lot of height in here. I'm 5'11", there might be three inches over my head. So if you're taller than 6'2", you're really gonna have to crouch down quite a bit to be able to take a shower in here. But the shower itself is a decent size. It's got a spray head that you can pull off and maneuver around without having to keep it in place. So that's a nice feature. And then it does have a shower door that's on a track and the track actually bows out away from the shower. So that gives you a little more space in here as well. Finally, the commode area, when you're sitting on the commode, it doesn't quite pass the elbow test, but it's a decent amount of space in here and I think you'll be comfortable in your bathroom. Here we are outside the camper and a couple of really nice feature that Winnebago has incorporated into this camper are, it's got dual axles on a smaller trailer. The benefit of this is you can carry a lot of weight, you can take it off road and it's also got a higher ground clearance, which is very important if you're out boondocking and off-roading. And the other really nice thing is that it does come included with solar panels on the roof. So you've got your entire solar setup already included. This travel trailer is the Black Series model number HQ19. It sleeps up to three people, has an unloaded vehicle weight of 6,525 pounds, a gross vehicle weight rating of 10,000 pounds, for a super impressive cargo carry capacity of 3,475 pounds. It measures in at 25 feet, eight inches long. When you first walk inside this Black Series trailer, the first thing you'll notice on the right-hand side is a beautiful queen-size bed. As you swing around, you have a nice big kitchen area with a dinette right across from it. And then behind me, a beautiful luxurious bathroom that is the whole width of this trailer. Just to my right, you've got a queen size bed. Now this is a RV queen or a short queen bed. It's 60 inches wide and 76 inches long, but it's a beautiful setup here. You have a nice leather headboard back there and you've also got these really nice black glass doors on either side with lighted cabinets inside. There's a bar inside there so you can hang your garments and store more things as well. And then above, you've got these really nice storage doors with extra storage space up there too. Now there is a receptacle on one side of the bed and there's also these big, huge nightstands on each side of the bed too. So if you need a CPAP machine or you wanna just plug in your tablet or computer or phone and charge it overnight, you have plenty of space on either side of your bed to do that. Also, you'll notice up above on each side of the bed, you have additional storage on each side as well. Underneath of the nightstands, you just push on these drawers and they pop right open. And then you've got another bottom door for more storage underneath too. Here we are at control panel headquarters. 
And this is a really cool looking control panel. It just looks like, you know, the controls to an airplane or something like that. But one thing you'll notice about black series that are different from other travel trailers is there are four tanks on here. You have your black water tank, your gray water tank, and two freshwater tanks. One is just general water for showering and washing dishes and things like that. And then you have a separate tank for your dedicated drinking water. The kitchen area in here has a really nice modern look to it. It's got this really nice black glass door with shelving inside. Now the shelving is not adjustable, but you can still make it work with some plastic bins or things that you might use to store some of your kitchen items. And then you just push on these doors above and there's even more storage up top. In fact, there's three of these cabinets all together. As we drop down, you have a three burner stove. And then next to that, you've got your faucet or your sink. Now this faucet's very unusual. It actually has two places where the water comes out. Now this bigger faucet here, you would control with this knob and that's your general water. You would use that for washing pots and pans and things like that. And then this little knob here would control, come out of this part of the faucet and that would be your dedicated drinking water. Now, as we go down below, again, you just touch these drawers and they pop right open. They're very big and deep and they slide really nice and smooth. Just pop them right open. They're really, really fantastic. Next to the sink, or under the sink, I should say, you've got some piping and filters under there, but there is a little bit of storage space that you can use as well. One really nice feature that I like about this trailer is that it's got a full-size oven in here, which is really great, because if all of you know, I do love my pizza, and so cooking a pizza is always a good thing. There's a little more storage under here. This is really where your water pumps are located, so, but you could maybe store some stuff on top of the water pumps. I don't really recommend that. Now, right next to the oven, you have this little pantry cabinet. Now the door swings out this way, but then this slides out and that's where you can store like cans of things in your pantry storage area. I wish that this was reversed and if it was my camper, I'd, I might do that, but the door would then be in the way. It just seems odd that you have to reach over to get to your canned goods. It'd be nicer to have them facing me um, but nonetheless, it's a fantastic little storage space. Now, one thing that I would pay good money to see is Susan use this microwave <laughs> oven. <laughs> She's five feet, one inches tall. And um, I don't know if she could see the plate. I know you couldn't see the plate. You would just no. be working blind up here. In my steps. So you'd be cooking again. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be cooking all the time. It's perfect. That's kind of how it works. It's funny. I do all the cooking at home. But Susan does all the cooking when we're camping on the road, which is why I want to always be camping. <laughs> anyway, below the microwave is where your separate refrigerator and freezer are. And they're a very good size for a camper this size. Uh, so Dometic does a nice job on those. And they have the nice finish on the front of the refrigerator as well. You've also got this really nice plush and comfortable dinette. You could seat two people here really no more than that but the table will drop down and this can become another bed as well so you really could sleep three people in here although i kind of view this as more of a couple's camper than maybe for maybe for three would work but you've got this nice big window over top of the dinette and then you have all these storage cabinets up above so you have storage all the way around right behind where i was sitting here you have your tv uh, mounted on the wall. It's a great spot if one person wants to watch TV from the dinette or if you want to watch TV from the bed, you can sort of swing it out and move it around. But um, it's a decent spot if you want to lay in bed and watch TV. It's a little bit too small of a TV in my opinion. So here we are in the bathroom and as usual, I'm standing in the shower. Now this has a really unusual shower door. It's this built into a track and it glides around. It's just very well made. I really like it. And while Susan's showing you the bottom of the shower, you'll notice that the shower drain is in the corner. Now, if you have a camper with the shower drain in the corner, it is really important that you get your camper as level as possible. Because if your camper is tipped a little bit that way, the water's not gonna all go down the drain and you'll be left with standing water inside of your shower pan which is no fun at all either. Now, the shower in here has a very nice shower setup. It's got 
push button control so you can lower or raise your shower head to whatever height is comfortable for you. It's got a little soap dish on here that's easy to access. There's no real place for shampoo bottles or anything like that. It's really just got a soap dish and that's about it. But anyway, you could put your shampoo bottles on the floor, I guess. Now Susan's in the shower and I'm in the other part of the bathroom and, and this just has a really nice modern feel to it. You have this gigantic mirror in here, which is great. You even have a magnifying a magnifying mirror. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I never look at these things because I'm always afraid what I'm going to see, but you could flip it over and really get a look at all your pores, whatever you do. <laughs> anyway, that's here too. And then you have this really nice designer sink um, with a very nice faucet over top. Down below, you've got these awesome just push drawers. I mean, it's really great. You just touch them and they pop right open. And there's also a little bit more storage space underneath of the sink as well. Now there's one last surprise in here that is really pretty cool. And underneath of the rest of the countertop, you lift that up and you've got a built-in mini automatic washing machine. So here I am sitting on the commode and clearly this is not gonna pass the elbow test, but it does have one really awesome feature that you'll not find in many other trailers, and that is it's got a built-in headrest. And what I mean by that is the toilet paper roll is behind my head. So if you got the toilet paper on there, I guess I could sit back and relax. I mean, that's just a weird spot. I've never, ever seen a toilet paper holder behind my head. It might be better off like inside here, mounted on the door, but I can't imagine like grabbing toilet paper and pulling it over my shoulder like, how does that work? Anyway, no trailer's perfect. I enjoy pointing out little things like that and just having fun with it. Outside of this Black Series trailer, there's four other features that we'd like to show off. First of all, this trailer does come with dual axles. And as you might know, Black Series trailers are well known for being able to go off-road. They're built extremely well. They're very, very durable. They can take a beating. And with the dual axles and the more ground clearance that they create, you can go off-road with these campers, no problem. They also come standard with solar panels on the roof, so that'll keep you charged up while you're out in the middle of nowhere boondocking as well. And a re another really nice feature outside is the outside kitchen. Now you can choose to cook inside your camper, but Susan and I always try to cook outside as often as possible. It keeps things like humidity and smells from building up inside of our camper you know just causes it not to smell so great sometimes and we certainly don't want to have any mold problems and there's one other feature that we want to show you as well and that is that there's some pass-through storage in the front of your black series trailer hey guys if you want to check out six more travel trailers that are perfect for boondocking and solar setups just click the box down below and you can check out our video called RVs that are perfect for off-roading. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe to the RV Blogger YouTube channel so you'll be notified every single week when we release a brand new video. So for Mike and Susan, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.